Dr. Stephen Montgomery is here now, the Early Career Awardee. First of all, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. So tell us a little bit about your research. Uh, so my research is really interested in trying to understand the molecular mechanisms of genetic diseases. So we approach this in um, a lot of different ways. So one of them is trying to uh, assemble very large scale collections of functional genomics information to try and connect genetic variants to molecular effects at that level. There's currently a challenge with a lot of uh, genome-wide association studies that are out there where you get a lot of information about these different loci, but you have trouble actually identifying you know, what are the causal genes and the causal variants. So by integrating this type of molecular information with, this, uh, with these GWAS studies, we can actually hone in on what are some of these genes and actually go a little bit farther and talk about what are some of these pathological cell types or pathological tissues that are underlying these diseases. And I feel like this can help in so many ways because by not focusing on one disease, you're giving baseline research to so many people. Actually, we see this type of work being as a follow-up for a large number of these studies. So it contributes quite broadly, I think, to the human genetics community. And that's why a lot of people are interested in it. But there's a lot of different types of information that we can get from it as well. So in my laboratory, we've been interested in trying to interpret rare variants by looking for extreme effects at a molecular level and saying, if we find these rare variants, do they also confer very interesting types of rare effects on, on traits? We can also, through this type of information, understand a little bit about the environment and people's exposures. So we can understand, have they recently exercised? You know, do they have an, inf uh, an infection at this point? Are they smokers? So all of this integrated information about the environment and genetics really allows us to do you know, a, a comprehensive job of understanding something about an individual and their genetic and disease risks. So how has ASHG helped not only in the research and fostering that, but also making the connections to people that you can be that springboard? Oh, ASHG is wonderful. We're, you know, the research is really important and it's uh, important to get that out there to individuals. So this is the opportunity to come here and talk to colleagues, expose them to the work that we're doing. You know, it's this uh, wonderful opportunity every year to meet people, old colleagues that I haven't seen for a while, but then also to meet new colleagues and discuss, you know, their challenges and think about solutions that, you know, might uh, synergize with types of stuff that we're doing. And then do you ever connect back with people who you've given some of the elements of your research to that have taken that and ran with it? Oh, all the time, yeah. So these are the types of collaborations and partnerships which last you know, years as we try and help people understand the data, but then also understand you know, the types of diseases and information they're most interested in. So helping each other, but also helping all these people who may be suffering with these various diseases throughout the world. Yeah, exactly. It's wonderful. And I, you know, I'm proud to be here. I'm proud uh, to have this award. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Pretty amazing. Congratulations. Thank you.